So in the previous lesson, we studied how to send arrays and input to a method. So in this lesson and coming lessons, I'm going to teach you how to return an array from a method. So let's say I want to create an array of size, let's say 1000 or something filled with natural numbers. How do I do that? So let me go and create a method here. Uh, first, let me do that, that logic just here itself. How do I do that? I'll say int array equal to new int. There's a thousand. Then I will use for loop int i equal to zero i less than array dot length. Then I would say i plus plus. Then when I create like this, array is already initialized with zeros. That is thousand variables are created whose names are array of zero, array of one, array of two, array of three, dot 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 array of nine nine nine, isn't it? And they are already filled with zeros. So if I just go and print here array of i, so what is the output I get? I get thousand zeros. Isn't it? Now what I want to do is I want to fill this array. I want to fill this array with natural numbers. What do you mean by natural numbers? One, two, three. That is array of zero should contain one. Array of one should contain two. Array of two should contain three. Same way array of 999 should contain 1000. How do I do that? I'll say array of i that is in the first iteration array of 0 equal to we can make use of the i value itself. We can say i plus 1. Remember we are not saying i plus plus. We are simply saying i plus 1. So in the first iteration i value is 0 plus 1. So since it is array of i array of 0 equal to 0 plus 1. So output will be this will be 1. Now in the second iteration i value is 1 because i plus plus will happen array of i that is 1 i value is 1 equal to 1 plus 1 we say so array of 1 will have the value 2 so like this the loop will go on and we can go ahead and print it if you wish to print it we already have one class remember calculator dot print array here if i say array what will be the output this time so what will be the output this time? Java C Java. So thousand natural numbers. Isn't it? Let me reduce the size. Oh, I'll say, let's say just 10. Compile. Execute. Clear? Now what I want to do is I want to move this code to another method. So I don't want this to be in the main method. Remember we are API developers. We create a method which accepts the input, process it and return the output. So let's go here. Let's go here and let's create a method called generate natural numbers. A method will So what are we going to develop? We are going to create a method which accepts the size of an array as input and returns an array filled with natural numbers. So like the question says, we can create the method according to that. So we'll create a method which returns an array. So I'll say return type as int array. And let's call the method as generate natural numbers. A method which accepts size of an array as input. I'll say int size. Only the size will accept. So if anybody call this method, what do they do that? They'll say, they'll say calculator, calculator dot generate natural numbers. And if they want some 20 natural numbers, they would send 20. Now the 20 will come as an input to what? Size. So we have to create an array of size, of size, size, what are the input is coming here? Whether they are sending 10, 20 or 30, doesn't matter to us. Now we have to have a logic, logic, this logic to fill that array with natural numbers. So i starts with zero, array dot length, i plus plus, array of i equal to i plus one. When this loop completed executing, if it is 20, the loop will execute 20 times. When this loop is over, array, 
will contain natural numbers so we have to return return array some of you might think that array of i or array of 0 just give a thought for yourself that will be utterly wrong array is the one which contains all the numbers isn't it not array of 0 will be one number array of i will be one number even suppose i is declared outside if you can return it so we have to return array array contains all the natural numbers arrays of type int array so return type is int array now on the left hand side here array is of type int array which is capable of catching whatever the output is coming here so which i am passing it as an input to the same array which is coming here i am passing it as an input to print array so now this one i cannot have one number here what is the return type of this method it is int array so i have to have a variable which is which is of type int array itself this array is sent as an input to print array to print it so let's print this one you are getting 20 natural numbers if you go ahead and say let's say 600 and we compile and execute 600 natural numbers is it clear so this is the first example to return an array from a method we studied how to return an array from a method so i'll give some more examples in the coming lessons